first steps um, I've been following are to have a look on this guy's blog where he's put the points, solder points in. So he's done some up at the up, up, up at the button on the other button for the hot water on this side. And then he's put extra contacts in for detecting whether the heating's on or not. So I'm just going to wire mine to do just the heating advance. I'm not going to bother with hot water, I'm not bothered about controlling that or detecting whether it's on. So the next step was to find out um, what contacts on the board give extra voltage when the heating is actually on, so we can detect that. Um, so in his diagram, or his picture, um, he'd got some points over here and this green one seems to go underneath so I wasn't sure exactly where that was going and one on the top here but what I found on the board was that when the central heating was on I was getting if you put uh, a multimeter against that point there and that point under there that was giving me plus three for the heating and then for the hot water it was the same as he got up there and one down there so stick it in a diagram on here which I'll stick on the site so that's plus three volts on both of those so just to do the hot water and just to do the central heating I'm going to need a couple of wires for that and to detect whether it's on another couple of wires so we'll take an old USB cable, hack that apart, and um, what we'll do is take the case and I think it'll be quite tidy if the wires come down from the top, round here, out the side. Hopefully, uh, maybe it will conflict with that button. So maybe try and take it out the side here a little bit. I saw on this other project that you've taken it out the top. Um, and that might be another option, drill out the top. Okay. 